And the overwhelming number one issue, and I'd agree with Heather on this, is the economy. Um, I agree with Heather that uh, when you talk to folks on the ground, the student loan issue is an interesting issue because it is tweaking at it. It's $6 a month is what we're debating here, $72, okay? On the thing that's uh, going on on the Hill. Um, and, and the issue for young folks is uh, loans are important, but if you don't have a job, you can't pay a loan. That's the number one issue in our survey data. 77% of millennials say that the economy has either impacted them directly or has delayed a major life decision. And when we go in behind that number and you ask them, what exactly does that mean? What has been delayed? This is what they say, 44% are delaying buying a home, 27% are delaying uh, paying student loans and other debt, 23% are delaying starting a family, 18% are delaying getting married, 26% are delaying the traditional thing that you do for a new job start, change cities potentially, because the confidence is not there that the job is gonna be there at the other end, if something goes south, you'd have an alternative, and 28% are, saving, are delaying saving for retirement. So when you take a look at this issue, and you take a look at the issue in terms of how it impacts a demographic long term, this is a very savvy generation. They get it. So while smaller issues are debated, like the student loan issue and the interest rate, and I'm not dismissing the debt issue, I'm talking about the interest rate issue. And when other issues are raised, like, hey, let's start a new federal job training program for entry-level job skills, people are pretty savvy at figuring out, well, hey, if I had a full-time meaningful job, in a career path of my choice, I would get those uh, skills. I don't need the government to do that for me. And so when you drill in on this, the economy is absolutely the issue. People understand it. It doesn't mean that they will pick up a label necessarily, but it is an opportunity for candidates to address, uh, address this directly. And I do think that whether folks decide to turn out to vote or they decide not to vote uh, for a particular candidate or uh, reelect uh, somebody, it will be directly tied to this as the overwhelming issue. In, in the economy, uh, to understand how sophisticated the generation is, when you ask them what's the number one national security issue, they'll say it's the debt. When you ask them what's the number two national security issue, they say it's American energy dependence. And then when you ask them the number three national security issue, it's indebtedness to foreign powers. So this economic issue is not simply unemployment, it goes straight up, how they view the world, how they view Americans competition in the future with India and China, and how they view their own station in life.